What's up everyone, welcome to part 13 of developing Android application and in this video I'm going to go ahead and move forward to create some more applications. For example, in the previous video you just saw about how you can create an app icon. For that, I'm mixing how to create an app icon and the app which we created in the previous video was this Learn Android and this is what we made in the previous video and on the previous video which is number 12 we have learned about how to create an application icon so this is the app icon which we created in the previous video so if i just go ahead and click on app icon then i can see there is java this is the background and this is my icon at this point of time i think you must have seen my java programming tutorial if you don't know java even if you know java just go ahead and refresh your mind so you get the clear concept of java all right so now i'm not going to talk about java and all we'll go ahead and build an application but first of all if you see what is this thing happened and what are the things which i have used to create this application is like app icon we have added and another thing which is added this is an image this is an image and this is text view it's an added view in place of text view i use an added view so if you want i can go ahead and add my name over there if you want you can just go ahead and add your name whatever you feel like see as you can see i can go ahead and type whatever i feel like if I want to keep it a space I can do that as well so this will happen inside your mobile so this is then added text okay so one image is in the background and another image is here and there are three images and one added view so let's just go ahead and see what text I have added right over here and before I proceed some videos actually I got an update of Android and that's the reason this this menu is gonna be a little different okay so don't be confused because Android Studio keeps on updating again and again. So one is an image view and let's just go ahead. It has an ID, it has a width. I have used that image scale type crop for the background of the image. And I think at this point of time, you must have understand what is the things which has been written right over here. Another one is right over here. So if you see, if I click any one of the year, it's gonna go ahead and give a blue section so you know in which section you are actually working with if i click on here it is a java which is like right over here if i click on that blue blue box will come over here see that you can see now also a guideline is given by android studio itself at this point of time it is an added text in place of text simple text which we used in the previous video of making learn android so you got the point logic of how it has been actually worked so i just go ahead and play that inside my jenny motion and this is what the result i got from jenny motion best thing about android studio is whenever you just go ahead and load the application it automatically pops up and open up your application without even having you to just go ahead and open it up so as you can see it has been loading after it has been loading it will go ahead and open up so there you see it has given a pop-up and there you can see the app is launched so now i'm going to go ahead and create new application new project and here i'm going to go ahead and create an application which is going to be cricket scoreboard c s c o r e b o a r d c r i c click scoreboard okay score quick score board so this is the name of my app and i'm going to go ahead and develop a scoreboard application inside android studio so let's just go ahead and learn about how we can do that so i'm going to go ahead and click next click next empty activity and finish so as it's gonna take some loading time and it's gonna launch it i would recommend you just go ahead and do some make some ideas of how you can go ahead and develop like how i created from small application and just we went to 
making this application just right over here without even thinking so like my smallest tutorials give you a lot of knowledge so you can go ahead and try that out always remember that if you more you practice it's gonna be more better for you to go ahead and build some amazing stuff so as you can see it's gonna take a lot of loading time so i pretty guys get pretty longer videos so i would rather skip this all of this loading time and jump forward to making some android cool stuff so okay so all you have to do is open up everything up so learning and android studio is will be much more better and if you look forward to each and every one of them it gets more comfortable to you again and again so this is the previous previous one and this is the new one so we have created the new one so i'm going to go ahead and close the older one so now i'm going to go ahead and work with project which was android studio actually one thing i came in my mind in the previous one video i didn't had two options of that now android studio has given that as well so it's a good update all right so i'm going to go inside my xml and here i'm going to go okay i just taught you about linear layout and relative layout and this is a constraint layout which i'm not going to go ahead and follow that one so i'm going to go ahead and start working with linear layout and there you see how it has been working so as you know whenever you start an android application always you get a hello world application so you have to delete that so now we are going to go ahead and preview this is how how application is gonna look All right so i'm going to go ahead and use like what is inside an application you have to think about that all right so we have created a school board if i someone goes on one run we're going to go ahead and add number one if someone scores two if someone scores three someone scores four or six that's all the number which has been scoring inside cricket game of course you must be knowing how to you play cricket so we are going to go ahead and stop explaining about what cricket game is and let's get started so i'm going to go ahead and add text view there you see just go ahead and hit enter give it a wrap contain wrap contain all right so i'm going to go ahead and create one more but can't see anything over here so yeah i have to add something android text I'm gonna keep it name as team A and zoom it a bit so it's much more clear for you to see team A and now I'm gonna go ahead and add one more text view wrap contain wrap contain and give it a value as Android text score and now i'm going to go ahead and add buttons to it buttons give it a wrap contain wrap contain and here i'm going to go ahead and add android text and here it is going to be score so i'm going to give it as add one plus one plus one so that's gonna look over there grab it control c comes over here control v so it will give like two comes over here control v then three comes over here control v score will be four comes over here control v and then it comes like six six ones all right so i didn't want that it should go ahead and look like this i want it in a straight line so i'm going to go ahead and comes over here and give it a value as orientation vertical so there you can see everything is lined up one more thing i didn't like that all the buttons are looking so small i didn't like that so let's just go ahead and give it a width as match parent match parent buttons all right we'll jump back over there after some time 
so let's just give a bit to match parent so that looks much more good to me let's just go ahead and con copy this one control c comes over here and control v match parent all right so everything is looking pretty good now we will look forward to text okay so i'm going to go ahead and here also give it a gravity right now so let's just go ahead and give it like layout gravity center horizontal just go ahead and copy this one control c comes over here control v so score and everything is looking pretty nice next what we have to do is as you see everything is so messy so what we have to do next is let's just give it a padding to that and right padding and let's just give it as for example 20 dp it takes too much of space so give it like 5 7 okay 7 looks pretty good to me Control c just remember i have used only padding so it's gonna apply top bottom left right and all of the four sides i have not specifically defined to give it on top give it on bottom give it on right or give it on left so i'm going to go ahead and control v so everything is looking pretty nice and i also want some space between this button so here i'm going to go ahead and give it like margin so margin will be on top so let's just go ahead and give it like 20 dp margin top so it just takes the size on top so okay so let's go go ahead and see on the design view and zoom it a little bit so this is how you have created cricket scoreboard that says if someone hits on one so it's gonna go ahead and add one two three four and six that's how scoring goes in cricket so i hope you try that out and i'll see you guys in the up next video congratulations you have created till you see you guys in the next video where we can go ahead and use some java to it